The Most Expensive Houses in London While property prices in London are dropping due to current economic circumstances brought about by the COVID-19 pandemic and events like Brexit, the capital has long been known as one of the most expensive places in the UK to purchase a house. And while the average property price in London is below £500,000, some properties in certain areas sell for millions. Whether you're interested in investing in an expensive property in London or are simply interested in finding out where you can find them, we've put together this guide for some of the most expensive homes in the city. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I hope you're all doing fantastic. Today, we'll be telling you about some of the most expensive houses in London. But before we begin, make sure you're subscribed to our channel, Luxurious Daily Input. And if you aren't, what are you waiting for? Subscribe right now or you'll be missing out on some of the best and most exciting videos. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to receive notifications about the new videos we post here on Luxurious Daily Input. Number 10. Aubrey Walk, Holland Park. $20 million. This seven-bedroom artwork deco home belonged to soul singer Dusty Springfield. It was her dwelling from 1968 to 1972, along with her lover, Norma Tanega. Springfield lived here when her most well-known hit, Son of a Preacher Man, got here out. The home is definitely two homes knocked into one, so the footprint is gigantic spanning 7,200 square feet, together with a 35-foot pool. That quantity of lateral house is pretty uncommon for Aubrey Stroll, which is moments away from Holland Park itself, near Camden Hill Square, one among London's most sought-after backyard squares. Number 9. Queen Anne's Gate, Westminster. $25 million. After a session with English Heritage, the present proprietor of this household carried out a complete restoration and refurbishment that noticed the house fitted with all the fashionable expertise you may consider. This wider-than-normal home differs from different properties in the road by having a bowed extension added to the rear of the property. This was a trendy characteristic in the late 18th century architecture, and the remodeling supplied the home with extra imposing rear reception rooms, and, in explicit, an imposing piano noble on the primary flooring, with a superior ceiling top straight overlooking St. James Park. Number 8. South Bank Tower Penthouse, South Bank. 26 to 32 million. The four penthouses at South Financial Institution Tower can be found for 26 million US dollars as a shell or for 32 million US dollars, absolutely fitted with inside design by Dara Huang of Design House Liberty or London Design Studio 1508 London. South Financial Institution Tower is a brand new luxury residential landmark that rises 41 stories above the Thames. The penthouse span the 38th to 40th flooring with a selection of both lateral or duplex residing houses and unrivaled views throughout the capital skyline. Number 7. Fairways, White Lodge Close, Highgate. $26 million. Fairways is a splendid gated household dwelling on the peaceable tree-lined White Lodge shut simply off the distinguished the Bishop's Avenue. The dwelling is gigantic and symmetrical, with 1,700 square feet of residing house, cavernous rooms, and elevated ceilings. There are eight bedroom suites, a leisure suite with a big swimming pool, cinema, storage house for three to four vehicles, employees, residing quarters, and an indifferent visitor home safety workplace. The backyard has a stepped construction with manicured garden on every tier and a decorative lily pond on the highest tier. A display of mature timber on the rear of the backyard gives privateness and there's a self-contained two-bedroom house with separate entry. Number 6. The Penthouse at the Corniche Embankment, $26 million. The Corniche by St. James contains 168 flats and two penthouses with panoramic floor-to-ceiling views throughout the river. 
Designed by Foster and Companions, this riverside tackle on Albert Embankment appears out over the homes of Parliament, Battersea Energy Station, and the London Eye. The Skyline membership on the 19th flooring is an area for residents to chill out towards the backdrop of town. There's a well-being and wellness facility with an infinity pool, spa, and a gymnasium, a 24-hour concierge service, and a cinema room. Are you enjoying watching this video? If yes, let us know by giving it a thumbs up. Which London home do you think will top our list? Watch this video until the end to find out. Number 5. The Huxley Hampstead $28 million Positioned at 57 The Bishop's Avenue, this eight-bedroom new-build mansion is the crown of a growth of three homes and five flats. Subsequent to the manicured Hampstead and Highgate golf equipment, it's a golf lover's dream. Set again from the highway behind safety gates and guard, the house measures 14,500 square feet, spanning four stories, with a raised entry to every flooring. Leisure services embody a big indoor swimming pool, gymnasium, cinema, and bar suite, and a spa and steam space full with altering rooms and ice fountain, and two roomy wine cellars. Number 4. Duplex Penthouse, Riverwalk, Westminster $32 million This penthouse in the new riverfront growth Riverwalk, created by Ronson Capital Companions, appears out over the North Financial Institution of the River Thames. It has an unlimited 2,200 square foot curved terrace, one of the many Metropolis's largest non-public river-fronting roof terraces. With over 6,000 square feet of residing space, there are five bedrooms, a big kitchen designed by Boffy with home equipment from Miele and Giganau, and six bogs. There's research eating space with seating for 10 companies, a spacious residing space, and a grand lounge with a staircase that leads onto that spectacular terrace. Number 3. Ashburg House, Chelsea. $35 million. A new build in Chelsea, Ashburg Home, is named after a treasured 101 carat Russian diamond. Envisioned by consultancy Morpheus London, the five-bedroom house is characterized by an aesthetic of glass inside and outside that offers a sense of a nice house and pure mild. Options embody an unlimited hand-cut glass chandelier, cascading with 140 particular person leaves of graduating color, and a 43-foot swimming pool impressed by sculptor Richard Wilson's 2050 an everlasting expedition on the Saatchi Gallery created from recycled oil. Virtually every little thing is bespoke. The fitted cabinetry was made in Austria. The steel, upholstery, and timber comes from the Far East, whereas the wonderful glassware hails from the artisans in the Czech Republic. Number 2. Chester Square, Belgravia. $38 million. Quantity 73 Chester Square was the house of Baroness Thatcher from 1991 till her loss of life in 2013. Leckenfield, an area growth and building firm, spent 18 months refurbishing and restoring the Grade II listed white stucco fronted home, which now has a raised separate muse home and a non-public storage. A number of options from Thatcher's time stay such as the inlaid 73-foot plaque on the doorstep. The entrance door is bomb-proof, and the home, nonetheless, has the unique safety glass to all home windows dealing with the square. The flooring in the doorway corridor is laid with Hopton stone, whereas the drawing room contains a pair of authentic Louis XVI fireplaces and parquet flooring. There are six bedrooms. Number 1. Mansion House, Westminster. $46 million. Previously the headquarters of the Liberal Democrats, this Grade 2 listed palatial residence is offered for the primary time as a non-public dwelling. From the terrace, you may see Big Ben, the House of Lords, and Westminster Abbey. Its Wren-inspired facade is exceptional, 
situated on Crowley Road, a historic pocket of London that first started to be constructed up in the early 18th century. Painstakingly restored, the gold work in the ceilings and in the 14-foot wide cupola was carried out by artisans who labored at Windsor Fortress, the Royal Academy, and the Palace of Westminster. With seven bedrooms accessed by an eight-person raise, this can be an actual palatial dwelling. Downstairs is the spa, jacuzzi, and gymnasium with a 10-meter swimming pool. So, these are the most expensive houses in London. Are you impressed? Which house among these is your favorite? Mine is Mansion House from Westminster. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, Luxurious Daily Input, to watch more incredible and fun videos like this one. Stay tuned for more.